G'day everyone, Jason Nunn, Fisherman's Warehouse, Tucker World Marks Point. For this Friday's fishing report, full moon tonight, although I don't know whether we're going to see a whole lot and unfortunately it's a blood moon. So look, if you're able to get out and find somewhere out of the cloud tonight, you may actually see something spectacular. But look, the weekend ahead of us is going to be a little bit mixed. Tomorrow we're going to have a light southerly through the middle of the day with the odd shower and definitely some rain heading into Sunday into next week so we've really got to get out there either this afternoon or tomorrow and really make the most of it. This weekend out on the shelf or particularly for our northern zone game fishermen it's an overnight event so a lot of the game fishermen can fish from basically 7 o'clock tomorrow up till 5 p.m. on Sunday and do an overnighter. There's been a few sharks on the shelf obviously a few marlin but that water is now starting to push down but there's a very very good temperature break out on the back of our southern canyons at the moment. Those, for those that are going to go out it's going to be quite interesting. Few fish on the farm, an uphill tide on the farm at the present moment. Been a few reds, not big. They've got bumps on their heads, but look, fish around about that sort of kilo, kilo and a half, or maybe a two kilo one here and there, but it is a little bit patchy and there are some kings getting caught down south. But again, you've got to just be careful of the current. This time of year, it's a little bit up and down as you get into that deeper water. Along the coastline, still no sign of any bonito. So they mustn't be too far away, I've got to say, but this week, again, nothing really to talk about. Future Valley, some flathead, of course, and still a few reds in close. Now, last night, for those that have interest, of course, and we're talking about trigger events, was the first night for this summer that I've heard the cicadas. And generally, the old rule of thumb many, many years ago used to be you didn't start to catch snapper offshore till the cicadas, but I certainly know the freshwater guys will be very excited to know that they're finally coming out of the ground and making their presence felt. So things are starting to move forward, although it's been a little bit slow because I just think we haven't had a lot of sun yet. A lot of rain, a lot of wind obviously as last weekend, and, and just no real warm weather. The beaches, however, this week have really sort of fired up. Plenty of whiting on the beach. Look, some of the fish are a little bit under, you know, like a lot of fish around that 27 to 29s, but there's been some better fish up to around about 38, 39. The odd brim, but not much else. I know that tonight with this full moon, good opportunity to maybe have a crack at a mulloway. Um, high tide, of course, around about 8.30 tonight, 9.30 tomorrow morning. And as we notice with the channel behind us here, tide's ripping out at the present. And tomorrow afternoon, we've got a low tide at 4.30. I like those low tide afternoons, beach fishing for whiting. Uh, tube worms in particular have been working very, very well. But again, preserved beach worms can also uh, trick them up, but the tubies are working a little bit better. In the estuary, squid still a little bit scarce. Been a few mile away around. Been some very nice flathead and some good flathead got caught last week with the Lake Macquarie event in some very trying and tough conditions in all of that wind. Some nice bag limit catches a brim this week and some of the brim, 42 centimetres. So a real range of fish coming through and some excellent whiting on the flats. Look, the, the trick is you've just got to physically get out there and have a bit of a crack. Next week, we're looking at a little bit of rainy sort of weather so look i reckon you've just got to get out there tomorrow i think tomorrow is not a bad forecast a light southerly is not going to trouble anyone and it's just that rain on sunday get a raincoat and just get amongst it look this week's zeric fish of the week winner and a deserved winner i might add is young duncan tolly now this young man has gone out there and done something that i love to do on the lake is get out there and troll lures and he's trolling one of my favorite the deep tail dancer this young man caught an 80 centimetre jewfish on the troll on one of those tail dancers. And his dad, Nathan, sent me a few photos this week. And mate, I've got to tell you, you should have seen the young fella. If he wasn't happy, I don't know what was. And at the end, he's got a great photograph when he's laying down, totally exhausted, next to the jewfish. Duncan, you come on down, bring dad down, come on down and get a couple of those Zeric fish traps. I'll see you next week.